the mother gave her baby a red apple. The baby tried to eat the apple. His mouth was too small, and he didn't have any teeth. His brother took the apple. His brother ate the apple. The baby cried. His brother gave the baby a blue ball to play with. The baby smiled. His brother took the ball from the baby. He rolled the ball on the floor. The brown and white dog picked up the ball. The dog chewed on the ball. The baby cried again. His brother picked up the cat. He put the cat on the bed with the baby. The baby pulled the cat's tail. The cat jumped off the bed. The dog chased the cat. The baby cried again. His brother let the baby hold a sock. The baby played with the sock. The baby was happy. The baby was lying on her back. A bluebird flew in through the window. The bluebird had blue eyes. It sat on the baby's crib. The bird had a bell around its neck. The bell rang. The baby smiled. The baby reached for the bell. The bird shook its head. The bell fell off the bird's neck. It fell next to the baby. The baby picked up the bell. The baby rang the bell. Another bluebird flew in through the window. This bluebird also had blue eyes. The baby had brown eyes. The birds looked at the baby. The baby looked at the birds. The baby rang the bell again. Both birds flew away. The baby started to cry. His mama came into the room. The baby smiled. Mama saw the bell. She asked the baby where the bell came from. The baby pointed at the window. The black cat jumped onto the chair. It looked down at the white dog. The dog was chewing on a bone. The cat jumped onto the dog. The dog kept chewing the bone. The cat played with the dog's tail. The dog kept chewing the bone. The cat jumped back onto the chair. It started licking its paws. The dog stood up. It looked at the cat. It licked the cat's fur. The cat licked the dog's nose. The dog went back to its bone. A boy ran through the room. He was wearing a yellow shirt. He almost ran into the chair. The cat jumped off the chair. The cat jumped onto the sofa. The chair fell onto the floor next to the dog. The dog stopped chewing the bone. The dog chased the boy. The boy ran out to the street. He threw a stick. The dog chased the stick. The dog lay down. It chewed on the stick. The baby bear followed his mama. Mama bear walked through the woods. She was looking for berries to eat. 
she found some blackberries. She started eating them. The baby started eating them too. They ate all the berries. Baby bear was full. Mama bear was still hungry. She started walking again. She wanted to find more berries to eat. Baby bear lay down. He was full. He wanted to take a nap. But Mama bear came back. She growled at baby bear. He understood Mama's growl. When Mama growled, he obeyed. He got up and followed his Mama. Some day he would take a nap after a meal. A squirrel ran up a tree with a nut. It dropped the nut and ran back down to the ground. It picked up the nut and looked at Baby Bear. Then it ran back up the tree. Baby Bear did not like nuts. They were too hard to open. The tree was full of red apples. The farmer was riding his brown horse. He stopped under the tree. He reached out and picked an apple off a branch. He bit into the raw apple. He enjoyed the apple. His horse turned its head to look at him. The farmer picked another apple off the tree. He gave it to the horse. The horse ate the raw apple. The horse enjoyed the apple. The farmer put a dozen apples into a bag. He rode the horse back home. He put the horse in the barn. He walked into his house. The cat rubbed up against his leg. He gave the cat a bowl of warm milk. He sat down on the sofa. He opened a book to read. His wife came home. She cooked the raw apples. She made an apple pie. They ate bread and hot soup for dinner. They enjoyed the bread and soup. They had hot apple pie for dessert. They both enjoyed the apple pie. He and his brother slept in a bunk bed. He had the bottom bunk. His brother had the top bunk. The top bunk had a guardrail. The rail kept the sleeper safe. His brother didn't like the rail. He always left it down. One time, his brother fell out of the top bunk. He hit the carpet and woke up. He said, ouch. Then he climbed back into the top bunk. When he woke up the next day, his back was sore. Mom took him to see the doctor. The doctor examined him. The doctor said he was okay. He said to keep the guard rail up. His brother said he would do that. That night, his brother climbed into the top bunk again. He left the guard rail down. He said the guard rail was like jail. He didn't want to feel like he was in jail. He fell asleep. Then he fell out of the top bunk again. It is December. That means it is Christmas time. Christmas time means Santa Claus is coming. Sarah and Billy love Christmas. They love Santa Claus. 
They love the gifts from Santa. Last year, they got nice gifts. Sarah got a teddy bear and a rubber duck. Billy got a green boat and a rubber duck. The rubber ducks float. When Sarah takes a bath, her pink duck floats in the water. When Billy takes a bath, his blue duck floats in the water. One time, Billy put a goldfish into the tub. It swam for a while, then it died. He buried it in the backyard. He was sad. This year, Sarah and Billy want bicycles. Sarah wants a red bike. Billy wants a blue bike. Mama said she would talk to Daddy. Sarah asked Mama, "Why don't you talk to Santa?" Mama said, "That's a good idea. When Daddy comes home, he and I will talk to Santa." January seven is Benny's birthday. He will be eight years old. He is in the third grade. He goes to Park Elementary School. An elementary school is for kids. It is only one mile away. He walks to school. It only takes twenty minutes. When it rains, he wears a raincoat. He used to take an umbrella, but. He lost the umbrella. His mother gave him another umbrella. He broke that one. His mom said, "You and umbrellas don't get along." For his eighth birthday, Benny wants a bicycle. He can ride the bike to school. After school, he can ride with his friends. He can ride the bike to the swimming pool. He can ride the bike to the library. His mom and dad took him to the bike store. They asked him to look at the bikes. He looked at all the bikes. He chose a red bike. He showed his parents. Dad said it cost too much. He told Benny to choose another bike. Benny chose a blue bike. Dad said the blue bike was the right price. Mama was in the garden. What are you doing? Johnny asked. She said she was planting roses. Roses are flowers. They are very pretty. They are usually red. Roses have thorns. His mama said, "Thorns will stick you. Be careful around thorns." Johnny went to the front yard. His dog Rex was waiting for him. Johnny picked up a stick and threw it. Rex chased the stick. He brought the stick back. Johnny ran around the house. Rex chased him. Johnny ran through the garden. Rex ran through the garden. Mom yelled at Johnny and Rex. She told them to play somewhere else. She told them to stay out of the garden. Johnny apologized to his mom. He went to the garage and got his bike. He went for a bike ride. Rex ran next to the bike. The mailman put the mail in the mailbox. Dad went outside. He said hello to the mailman. 
The mailman said hello. Dad opened the mailbox and took out a magazine and two letters. One letter was from his sister. The other letter was from his brother. The magazine was for his wife. It was a garden magazine. His wife liked to work in the garden. She grew flowers and vegetables in the garden. Dad went back into the house. He opened both letters. His sister invited him to a birthday party. His brother invited him to a wedding. Dad enjoyed reading the letters. He enjoyed getting the invitations. He picked up the phone. He left a message for his sister. He would come to the birthday party. He also called his brother. He said he would come to the wedding. The two brothers loved each other, but sometimes they argued with each other. Sometimes they yelled at each other. Sometimes they pushed each other. Sometimes they hit each other. Sometimes they got into a fight with each other. Bobby was the older brother. Billy was the younger brother. Bobby was older than Billy. Billy was younger than Bobby. Bobby climbed into a tree. His kite was in the tree. He could not reach his kite. He fell out of the tree. Billy laughed. He laughed when he saw Bobby fall to the ground. Bobby was not hurt, but he was angry. Why are you laughing? He asked Billy. That was funny, Billy said. Bobby said it wasn't funny. Billy said it was funny. Bobby pushed Billy. Billy pushed Bobby. Bobby punched Billy in the stomach. Billy punched Bobby in the stomach. They put their arms around each other. They wrestled on the ground. They rolled around and around. Their mom came outside. What are you doing? She asked. She separated them. She said, you shouldn't hit each other. That's not nice. Wait till your father gets home. She sent them to their rooms. The children were hungry. They looked out the window. Where was their mother? She walked into the house. The children ran over to her. Mama, we're so hungry, they both said. She said lunch was coming. She walked into the kitchen. She opened a can of chicken soup. She poured the soup into a pot. She added water. She put the pot on the stove. She made two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. She sliced an apple. The soup was hot. She poured it into two bowls. She put the sandwiches on two plates. She put apple slices on each plate. She put the bowls and plates on the table. The children ran to the table. 
Thank you, Mommy, they said. Then they started eating. The cat and the dog watched them eat. I am an adult. I'm not a kid. I'm a grown up. I need some money. I have no food. I am hungry. I am not thirsty because water is everywhere. But water has no taste. I want to drink a soda. I want to drink milk. I want to drink coffee. I want to work. Nobody will hire me. Nobody is hiring anybody. Companies are firing people. Companies are laying off people. Everyone is looking for a job. I cannot pay my rent. I will have to live in my car. I don't want to live in my car. My car has no bed. Everyone should live in a house or an apartment. Many people don't have a car, they live on the street. A street has no bed. Nobody should live on the street. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Maybe I will go to church. Maybe I will find help there. I am an adult. I'm not a kid. I'm a grown up. I need some money. I have no food. I am hungry. I am not thirsty because water is everywhere. But water has no taste. I want to drink a soda. I want to drink milk. I want to drink coffee. I want to work. Nobody will hire me. Nobody is hiring anybody. Companies are firing people. Companies are laying off people. Everyone is looking for a job. I cannot pay my rent. I will have to live in my car. I don't want to live in my car. My car has no bed. Everyone should live in a house or an apartment. Many people don't have a car. They live on the street. A street has no bed. Nobody should live on the street. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Maybe I will go to church. Maybe I will find help there. I am lonely. I am always by myself. I meet people every day. I smile at them. I say hello. I am nice to them. I want to have a friend, but I have no friends. What is wrong with me? I am polite. I am friendly. I am nice. I am kind. Why don't people like me? All I want is one friend. Everyone has one friend. I always see people with their friends. They laugh with each other. They have fun with each other. They do things with each other. What about me? I am by myself. I watch TV by myself. I go to movies by myself. I go to restaurants by myself. I go to the park by myself. I told my mother that I am lonely. She said it is my fault. Why? I asked. She said, because you never ask anyone to be with you. 
My mom is right. I never ask people to be with me. I am afraid they will say no. I am happy. I have many friends. I have a large family. I have four brothers and four sisters. I am in the middle. Four brothers are older than me. Four sisters are younger than me. I go to school. I am in the sixth grade. I like my teachers. My teachers like me. I have friends in every class. My favorite class is history. I like to read about history. History is a story about our past. Soon, we will all be history. Then kids in school will read about us. I hope they like our stories. My best friend is Bobby. Bobby and I do many things together. We swim together. We play basketball together. We ride our bikes together. I have many other friends. We all go to the mall on weekends. We go to movies. We go to restaurants. We tell jokes. We laugh. We have fun. Life is great. She was angry. She was angry at her husband. He lied to her. He lied many times. She was tired of his lies. She said, "Enough was enough." She took off her ring. She dropped it into the toilet. She flushed the toilet. She got into her car. She got on the freeway. She drove the car fast. She was crying. She was very sad. She drove the car faster. She passed many cars. The speed limit was sixty miles per hour. She was going eighty miles per hour. A cop saw her. The cop chased her. The cop turned on his red light. He turned on his siren. She heard the cop car. She saw the flashing light. She drove faster. Now she was going ninety miles per hour. The cop drove faster. It started to rain. She didn't slow down. She lost control. The car rolled over. It rolled over and over. She died before it came to a stop. The farmer drives a tractor. The tractor digs up the ground. He plants yellow corn in the ground. He plants the yellow corn in the spring. The corn grows in the summer. The rain helps the corn grow. If there is no rain, the corn dies. If there is a lot of rain, there is a lot of corn. He harvests the yellow corn in late summer. He sells the corn at his vegetable stand. He sells one ear for twenty-five cents. He sells four ears for one dollar. He sells all his corn in just one month. The neighbors love his corn. The corn is. Fresh, it is bright yellow. It is tasty. It is delicious. The birds love his corn too. They don't pay for it. They eat it while it is in the field. They don't cook it.
They eat it raw. The farmer doesn't get angry. Birds have to eat too. So do cows. The farmer has one cow. He gives his cow fresh corn every summer. The cow loves the corn. It eats a lot of yellow corn in the summer. Sometimes it makes yellow milk. The husband and wife wanted to have a baby. They prayed for a baby. God answered their prayers. The doctor said they were going to have a baby. The wife asked, How many? The doctor said he didn't know yet. The husband and wife were very happy. Now they would have a baby. They both wanted to have a baby. They visited the doctor a month later. He examined the wife. He used a special machine. He saw the baby. He saw more than one baby. He saw two babies. He saw more than two babies. He counted the babies. He told the wife, you will have more than one baby. You will have eight babies. The wife couldn't believe it. Her husband couldn't believe it. Eight babies. We will have a big family, said the husband. We will have a very big family, said the wife. But how can we pay for all these babies? asked the husband. We can pay for one baby, but eight babies cost a lot of money. How can we pay for eight babies? The wife said, we will find a way. God will help us find a way. They both smiled. They would have a big, happy family. He was late. He was always late. Why did time always go so fast? Time always went too fast. He looked at his watch. He looked at the clock on the wall. They both said 6 10 p.m. He had to leave in 10 minutes, but first he had to shave. Then he had to brush his teeth. Then he had to get dressed. Shaving took time. Brushing his teeth took time. Getting dressed took time, but he had only 10 minutes. So he turned off the TV. He turned off the radio too. He turned off the table lamp. He went into the bathroom. He shaved. He brushed his teeth. He went into his bedroom. He got dressed. He looked at his watch. He looked at the clock on the wall. They both said 6.25 p.m. He had to hurry. He went out to his car. He drove fast. He slowed down at a stop sign. A cop saw him. The cop wrote him a ticket. Why didn't you stop at the stop sign? The cop asked. But officer, I was in a hurry, he said. The cop gave him a ticket. The cop said, leave home earlier next time. He had a blue car. He loved his blue car. It was dark blue. It had four doors. 
It was not a new car. It was an old car. But it had new tires. It had new black tires. All four tires were new. He felt safe with his new tires. They would not blow out. He could drive everywhere with his new tires. His car was dirty. He needed to wash it. The windows were dirty. The doors were dirty. The hood was dirty. The trunk was dirty. The bumpers were dirty. The tires weren't dirty. They were new tires. They were black and shiny. They looked good. He did not have to wash his tires, but he did have to wash his car. He put water into a bucket. He put a sponge into the bucket. He washed his car with the sponge. He dried his car with a towel. His car was shiny blue now. It looked like new. Now his old car was as shiny as his new tires. The TV reporter coughed. Then she coughed again. The other TV reporter was worried. Are you okay? He asked. She couldn't answer. She continued to cough. She coughed and coughed. The other reporter dialed 911. What is the emergency? The 911 person asked. I think my friend is dying said the reporter. What is your address? asked the 911 person. We are at 123 West Hill Street, said the reporter. Someone will be right there, said the 911 person. But then the woman stopped coughing. She said she was fine. She said thanks to the other reporter. He said, you're welcome. He called 911 again. He said the emergency was over. He said his friend was okay. She would not die. She was going to live. The 911 person was glad to hear that. Dark clouds were in the sky. The sun went down. The weather got cold. The wind started to blow. Leaves blew off the trees. Paper flew through the air. People buttoned their jackets. The rain started to fall. At first, it was quiet. Then it got louder. It was a storm. The rain was very loud. The man couldn't hear his TV. He turned up the volume. Now he could hear his TV. He looked outside his door. He looked at the rain. It was pouring off his roof. It was a flood. Then he saw lightning. Then he heard thunder. It was a very cold night. The rain changed to hail. The hail was very noisy. He turned up the TV volume again. Now he could hear his TV again. He watched TV for a while. Then he looked outside again. 
All the cars were white. The street was white. The ground was white. The hail covered everything. The hail looked just like snow. He wanted to make a big snowman, but you can't make a snowman out of hail. You can only make a snowman out of snow. The baby bird was in his nest. He was in his nest with his sister. Their nest was high up in the tree. They were waiting for Mama Bird. Mom always brought them food. They were hungry. When would Mom come home? Would she bring them a worm? Would she bring them a fish? Would she bring them a piece of bread? What would Mom bring them? They looked at the squirrel. The squirrel looked at them. The squirrel put a nut in their nest. The birds looked at the nut. How could they eat a nut? They didn't have strong teeth. The squirrel has strong teeth. The baby birds had no teeth. They had beaks, but no teeth. They heard mom. They knew her voice. They knew the sound of her wings. She brought them some food. It was still warm. It was delicious. It was pizza. It was pizza with cheese. Baby birds love pizza with cheese. They were so happy. How delicious. He looked at his watch. It was time for the bus. Where was the bus? He was at the bus stop. He stood up. He looked down the street. No bus. He looked up the street. No bus. Where in the world was the bus? It was time for the bus to arrive. He sat down on the bench. It was getting cold. The wind was blowing. He didn't have a jacket. He was wearing shorts. He was wearing flip-flops. His head was cold. His arms were cold. His legs were cold. His feet were cold. His toes were cold. His toes were turning blue. Where was the bus? He stood up again. He looked down the street. He saw the bus. It was coming. In a minute, he would be on the warm bus. In a minute, his nose would be warm. His hands would be warm. His whole body would be warm. How nice. The bus arrived, but it didn't stop. It kept going. It was the wrong bus. He looked at his watch again. Where was the bus?